It looks like we may get one last chance at our buy zone one and buy zone two. What's up guys? It's your boy Lex Money. Happy April Fools. Are we having a massive April Fools dump before the Giga Pump? In today's video, we're going to get into ICP. We're going to look into the chart. We're going to find out exactly where we're expecting ICP to go. But before we get into that, make sure all of you have turned on post notifications. Drop me a like, drop me a sub. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. Happy Easter if you do celebrate it or if not happy april guys happy start of spring into summer we have got so much to look forward to leading up post halving and i try to warn all of you guys that we're going to be having volatility so in these times i'm going to say it to you every day i'm going to get annoying you can skip these parts but we just hold on to our bags at this point don't get shaken out of the market i know it can be quite emotional when you've got a big big bag and then you see it go boom minus 30 percent okay it's not easy to look at i still don't find it easy to this day but i know I know what the end goal is, guys, okay? So we will not be selling our bags anytime soon. Now, like I said to you guys, is this just an April Fool's dump before the Giga Pump? Usually we're spending around two to three weeks dealing with the all-time high before we do have our next leg up. So does that mean we've got like another one to two weeks to be accumulating and then everyone plays catch up into the post-halving pump? What do you guys think? Now, it's great for all of these projects to, you know, pump out all of these marketing campaigns and all this sort of stuff. Like I said to you guys yesterday, I think it was in the Jasmine video, like with crypto.com, the way they pumped out their marketing. I mean, that's great, but the best adoption is organic and natural. And it will take longer, but it's going to stand the test of time. Think about Bitcoin. Was Bitcoin getting pumped everywhere on every news article in its inception? No, it wasn't. It was organic growth, guys. And Bitcoin's standing the test of time. And I do think that ICP is going to be the king of the alts when it does come to who has the best tech in the space, guys. So ICP is the way. And I'm sure many of you guys, you are subscribed to NoBS Crypto. I watch a lot of his videos. I think he's very, very cool. But the bull case from NoBS is five hundred and eleven dollars go and watch his video you guys can let me know what you think in the comments but you can see here he's got a bull case and a bear case going from bear case average average and bull and he's comparing it now to next year and he's compared market caps and prices and you can see here that the absolute bull case is a 256 billion dollar market cap by 2025, leading us with a max of $511. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe you forgot, we've said that we're going to be taking a lot of profits at around $100 to $200. And that's going to be in line with the average low to average high, guys. Okay, so that's why I'm trying to play it a bit more safe. Okay, we, we planned this out before we even posted this. So we're going to be making sure that we've got our initial investment out way before the average high and then we can just be riding house money into the bull run and that makes it a lot easier guys because the last thing you want to do is see your portfolio go all the way to the moon you don't sell it because you think it's going to hit 500 to a thousand and then it never happens and then you end up being a bag holder and you're down 60 percent right that's not the way we're doing it we get our initial investment out if worse comes to worse it's fine you know we didn't make a loss but we want to be making money and the way you make money is by taking profits and again if you didn't see my last video i've been looking to try and buy a motoko ghost guys i want to be getting back into the nft ecosystem and again they said it here look best way to reach the icp community is to grab a motoko ghost and that actually wasn't the reason why i wanted to grab one i just see the potential of DeFi and nfts on the icp ecosystem and i just felt like i am kind of doing a disservice to myself by not holding one so again when we go to entrepot we've got all the different collections here obviously motoko ghost floor price here is 37 icp so for the average investor this is a bit <laughs> this may be out of the the price range for a lot of you guys however for all of you guys who have got like a big stack of icp then you know this is high risk nfts are super high risk because it is like super player versus player when you compare it to crypto because you you're basically relying on someone to buy your nft so are there any sort of like body packs glasses eyes back front item that i should be keeping an eye on because i tried to find out like the rarities of this but it doesn't tell you any rarity it doesn't tell you any rarity info apart from obviously like you know how many are available to be buying and i guess you could work it out yourself that way but if anybody knows like what sort of thing i should be looking for in a motoko ghost to get a sick one or even if it's worth getting the floor one because again the floor ones are like 700 dollars, i think yeah 650 dollars for this floor one i mean is that worth it like 
Don't just say yes, guys. Please help me out. I'm trying to help you guys out. So help me out of the ICP. Uh, so help me out with these Motoko ghosts, guys. Because again, I'm still getting into the NFT ecosystem on ICP. What do you guys think? Let me know. And our good old boy, Dave. Let's go rewatch this. I would suggest you take one freaking dollar. One dollar. Buy some big coins. Put it in a goddamn wallet. Put it a fucking away. Okay? I'm sorry for swearing, but you know what? It's just a dollar. Get some bitcoins. I'm hoping that every single one of you buys one dollar worth of bitcoins. Just one freaking dollar. Because you're going to be thanking me for that one dollar. Just one dollar of bitcoins that you purchased. But the odds are most of you, 90% of you, are not going to buy even one dollar worth of bitcoins. For what reason? I have no idea. I suggest you take one freaking dollar. So again, guys, imagine if you did. Imagine if you were around in this time. I know a lot of you guys, you weren't around at this point. I mean, I wasn't even around at this point. This was like 2013 or 14, I think. Uh, so a lot of us, we wouldn't be getting these prices. But again, try and hold one ICP at least. Try and hold 10 ICP at least $170, right? Before we continue, guys, just a quick word from our sponsor, Pika Moon. Pika Moon have been sponsoring the channel. I love them. I'm not going to lie. You guys can see. Bow. Pikachu in the background right there. They're currently available on BitGet, Mexi and Uniswap to trade. Tick a symbol, Pika. And if you want to go and follow them on Twitter, guys, they've got 31.9k followers, followed by quite a few big names. And remember, Pika Moon is an NFT play to earn game. Hashtag Pika Army. You can go and check out the website at Pika Moon dot io join the pika moon army i know there's a lot of you guys who are super into your high cap large caps but then there's also a handful of you guys who are into the meme coins and the crypto gaming sector as well and this could be one of the biggest crypto gaming coins to come up guys the pika moon coin market cap and coin gecko pairs are now live so you can go and check that out there and they're currently doing a 500 dollars giveaway retweet like and comment Go check it out. Now, guys, we come over to the trading view that is looking it's looking lovely to me, to be honest, guys. We're, we hit buy zone one, and I made a post the other day to say, does this count? Some of you said it did, some of you said it didn't. But what I did, guys, is I actually took, uh, I took a cheeky long here, right? It was around here, and then I exited it here, and that gave me an 11% gain. But what did we do? We did margin, so I got 110% from this going straight back into ICP, guys. And that's the way that you can increase your stack. So I haven't said it for a little while, guys, but if you want to be getting extra trades to be making sure that you're flipping your bags and getting as much of a certain coin as possible, then go and check out the Members Club. They start from just £25 a month, guys. You're going to get all the trades and all the portfolios. Don't waste any more time. But you can see here that we still have the old support flipped into new resistance, guys. And until we close, a four hour, a daily, and a weekly above this level, I am not bullish yet. Well, I am bullish, but I mean in terms of doing a stupid long up to like $20, $30, okay? We need to be closing these levels, and we planned it out, okay? Just because we got rejected doesn't mean that I'm going to start panicking because I planned it out. I've planned out these buy zones. Once we hit here, I will buy more. Once we hit here, I will buy more. And again, if you don't take action, there's nothing I can do for you. I was telling you guys between $10 and $15, I was practically begging you guys, like, please, listen, just buy it, okay? You won't regret it, just buy it. I know this is boring and no one wants to buy it. This is when you buy, this is where all the smart money's buying. Not up here, not after this giga stupid pump, right, of 100% in like a, a week. We buy this, we buy the accumulation, we act like smart money if you want to be making the real money in the bull run. So right now, guys, we're going to see how the week closes out for Bitcoin. We've just started the month. It is April the 1st. Will we start to have a bit of a retrace back into these buy zones? If we do, I mean, my fingers are crossed, guys. I hope that we do because I'll be making sure that I add to the stack. I'm not trying to make my average price like $20. Okay, I'm not doing it. So right now we're keeping a close eye on buy zone one as our next level of entry. But will it come? ICP has been showing a lot of strength against Bitcoin and against the other alts as well. So this is not guaranteed, guys. But that is what I'm looking at for ICP today. Let me know any NFTs that you think I should be keeping a close eye on. You can send me some NFTs. Go and leave me a comment in the comment section. And guys, until next time, it's been your boy Lex Money. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.